Hey guys, Tush coming at you uh, Wednesday night. I uh, just thought I'd uh, spend a little bit of time on the grass. It's about 9 o'clock at night, just a little after 9. Yeah, I thought I'd come out and take a look at this uh, trunk lid and uh, see where we're at and uh, see if I can make this a little bit better. Now, there's been lots of talk about using a straight edge to check, but I'm not sure what that'll accomplish because both of these panels are actually uh, curved. Um, the trunk lid is original, um, so I'm inclined to keep the original lines of the trunk lid that I know has not been altered versus the uh, the valence, which was new. So um, I think I've changed my uh, school of thought based on some of the comments to uh, to actually try to uh, cut the valence and uh, narrow that a little bit and pull this gap back. So that's what I'm going to attempt to do. Um, it's going to be a little bit different for me. Um, I'm used to uh, working on areas of the car that uh, it doesn't really matter because I know uh, whatever I do, I can make it better than what it was. So if it's a rusted out piece, um, you know, I could always make it better than what it was. So that was my sort of school of thinking. Now this is a brand new Valence. It was, uh, oh, I think it was about 800 bucks. So I'm going to be cutting into a new panel, which I don't particularly like. But uh, anyway, I've got to make the adjustment. So uh, I'm going to make some cuts. I'm going to play around. I can always fix it if I screw up. That's my uh, that's my motto. Uh, hopefully I can fix it if I screw up. So uh, again, it's a learning curve, uh, learning process. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, and make a cut here and see if I can move this back a little bit uh, and uh, widen that gap out. So uh, wish me luck and uh, we'll come back in a little bit once I make a cut and uh, do a little, get a little bit of uh, hammer action in. All right, we'll talk to you a bit. Okay guys, no going back now. First cut's made. Now I'll see if I can move it a little bit and uh, we'll come back to it. All right, check back in a minute. Hey guys, Tosh coming back at you. It's probably about 9.30. So um, <clears throat> that looks like it's going to solve the problem. I did a little bit of a too big of a cut here on the corner. Um, I actually made two cuts because I couldn't move that back enough. But this worked out pretty well. And as you can see, I don't know if you can see this on the video, um, and try to envision that with that, you know, that welded up down the bottom there. Um, but that gap's pretty good now. Um, it's pretty consistent there. Um, so I'm happy with that. So I'm going to proceed to the other side. I wish I had, I still haven't had a chance to get uh, welding gas because uh, i got to work 9 to 5 pretty much and the welding store is only open 9 to 5. So that's going to have to wait until I get some gas to be able to weld that up. But at least uh, I think I have a solution to the problem. So uh, once that's welded, it should uh, work out okay. Um, it's not very thick metal, um, but uh, should be fairly easy to weld. So. Anyway, so I'm going to work on this side now, and uh, we'll do the same thing. We'll make a couple cuts, or at least one cut, and we'll uh, we'll go from there. All right, on to this side. Okay, guys, there's uh, relief cut <clears throat> number two. Um, so you can see where the gap is now. So I'm going to get the hammer and uh, dolly out and uh, knock that back and uh, open that gap up a little bit, and uh, we'll try to get it uh, looking like the other side. All right, we're back in a bit. Hey guys, Tush coming back at you. Okay, it might be hard to visualize without the, um, the finished welding done. But that gap's looking pretty good now. Uh, all the way across, um, even into this corner. Um, looks okay. This actually will drop down a little bit and close that gap up. But it looks pretty good. It looks a lot better than what it did. And there's no more tight gaps along the back. So, uh, like I said, once I get that welded up and uh, cleaned up a little bit, uh, we should be in good shape. So uh, I'd say that's a, a success for, tonight, for the evening anyway. And uh, I'll take a quick video uh, when I get that uh, finished welded and I'll post it um, a little later on. Probably going to be a few days before I can get made gas, so I'm not sure when I'll be able to post it, but I will post the finished results uh, at some point down the line. All right, guys, have a good night. We'll talk to you later.